Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today we're going to be watching the 21st episode of Ode Monogatari, also known as My Love Story. In last episode, we had our Valentine's Day episode, which meant chocolate being given, and a lot of people were certainly happy to receive chocolate in the episode, especially our boy Goda with that big old box that Yamato just shows up at the door with. So big she can't really push the, push the doorbell right, so luckily for her, he just kind of open the door for her, you know, not, not even really knowing she's there. But, uh, yeah, we also ended up with a little bit of stuff with uh, with Suna, right? Some potential with a girl that seems to like him. And, uh, yeah, very much a potential sort of girlfriend candidate for him. And, yeah, we, we may go more more into that in this episode. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it and find out. Three, two, one, go. I shall not go to the unexpected. Ah, uh, white day, okay. And I thought that day sounded familiar. <laughs> I look so tiny in his hands. Babe, I better give her something good for white day. I mean, because of what she gave him and all that. Okay, we got cookies. I mean, that's that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it happens to the best of us. Uh, I, I think he would, you know, prefer you to eat them. <laughs> of course, she takes a picture of it first. <laughs> I mean, she was never going to say it was bad. I mean, you made it. Yeah, a little bit of, uh, kind of some role, role, role reversal. Almost, yeah. Yamato usually one that brings those sweets. Obviously, his can't compare to hers. I mean, but she appreciates it all the same. I mean, could you even imagine Yamato being like, bleh, this is disgusting, how dare you give me this garbage? She, she would never say that. If she ever did say that, I would immediately know that it was an imposter. Some kind of deep fake. Maybe like an evil twin sister. Wouldn't that be a plot point? Now I'm, just, now I'm just imagining that in my head, just like Yamato having a sister who's just a massive bitch. That would be that would be something, wouldn't it? Like Yamato absorbed all the niceness in the womb, kind of kind of thing, all the pleasantness, leave it done for the sister. I like with you know Piccolo and all that. Anyway. Played out the good and evil. I, I hope so as well. <laughs> yeah, those are two very different things. Is the same bed like really harder? Yeah. <laughs> Don't have to tell him twice. <laughs> Okay, that was okay. Yeah, it is the the, the girl that likes him, that likes you know Suna. <laughs> and there's a letter from the title. I I take it. Oh no, it fell in the water. That voice kind of sounds familiar. I want to look at her voice actress later if I remember to. Yeah, that same thing. I mean, she looks pretty nice to me. I love the hair color. <laughs> that's that's the one. I'm glad he figured that out so quickly. <laughs> I introduced me to Suna. Please put in a good word for me. Ha 
Okay. It's fine, sure. That was a while ago. Might not remember it too clearly. Amami Yukika. That's a really cute name. Amami Yukika. That's, that's one of the cutest names I've ever heard in anime. How could you forget a name like that? <laughs> yes. You a good icebreaker. If you don't punch her. <laughs> yeah, that'll make it easier to talk. I swear I've heard that voice number before. <laughs> he wasn't like other boys. The important things. <laughs> Nobody could bring themselves to hit sooner with a ball. Could he block it, you know, like a badass? Yeah, I probably should take those off during dodgeball. <laughs> I mean, that'll do it. <laughs> that was a while ago. <laughs> That's a bit of a gap. Okay, that's a little bit unsettling, but uh... You could just, you know, talk talk to him instead. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get it, but I don't think 10 years stalking is the answer. I'm sure that was quite the journey. Well, that is, that is something. It definitely is. <laughs> she was again there and they fixed that third wheel. And then it got thrown in the water. I feel for this girl. He definitely is. Yeah, I wouldn't say that part was true, but <laughs> why English? <laughs> okay, that is a little bit weird. Teach the baby English. That would be surprising if your baby suddenly just speaking a foreign language. That would be something. I I mean it could, but it shouldn't. I mean no one's closer to Suna than him, so yeah. Nobody nobody would doubt that part.
Yeah, he's only human, you know. I mean, ten years of watching someone, that, that, that would do it. Not sure I follow. She gonna disappear? Yeah, I think I knew it. Enter stalker mode. Everything. Nice little bow under here. So you know it's a girl. Yeah, I just burst into your room for no particular reason. Yeah, she is in those pictures. Always watch her. <laughs> we are in the same high school, that is true. <laughs> okay. Naturally. I feel like Go does not great at the whole naturally thing, but he'll, he'll get something figured out. Like, he's very really blunt by nature, you know. Okay. <laughs> Not naturally. Uh. The blush is already pretty strong. So he does know her name, remembers her. That's that's a good it's a good sign. Oh, okay. Wait, what do you say? No time. And pretty much, yeah. Same moment on the letter. So, uh, yeah, you, you just kind of let it out there, didn't you? Hey, you're supposed to at least stick around until you get a reply. Or at the very least say, you know, you, you'll wait for the reply or, you know, something. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, at least she did it. That's first, the hardest step. What are you trying to do? She's fine. You, you're the one that's gonna fall. Okay, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, not, not the best spot for that. At least you got out of the way, that's... I think there are subtitles because I can barely understand that. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Ah, the knees, they get a little bit banged up. I don't think he would do what he would, no. He's still over there. <laughs> He's such a good guy. That's her. I'm sure that definitely made an impression. That's what she was afraid of. At least wait for him to respond. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh.
I guess that's one strategy. <laughs> Okay, he's he's ex <laughs> that voice. He, he he's accepted it. <laughs> I love the voice. <laughs> well, most significant event in her ten year life, last ten years. So more or less kind of a let's start off let's start off as friends sort of thing, you know, if you wanna gen generalize that. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> you were good at not getting hit. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine him being great at dodging. <laughs> So you're not big on the dodging aspect. Well, that was a lot more significant for her than it was for him. You know, it's one of those situations. Is she going to show up or... Yeah. I imagine she was in the background in so much of what we saw in previous episodes, we just never noticed. Because she, she, she hides, you know. I don't know if they did or not, but it would be cool if they actually had her in the background of previous shots and you could spot, him, spot her if you really look for it in previous episodes. Because some shows have done that before. So, it'd be cool if that was a thing in this show. You go with episode three, and you know you see you're behind a bush. I mean, old habits are hard to break. <sighs> I found her in the bushes. Let's take her home. <laughs> As she cooks, cooks that head. <laughs> okay, no need for the social distancing. <laughs> I'll take whatever you take. We should just invite her to, like, you know, one of our group hangout sessions, you know. Please. He's not a celebrity or anything. I'm with another, I'm with another girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, he's really not. Probably could have probably could have raised that better though. I mean, she can hear all this. <laughs> I, I would that yeah that could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine these two could get along fairly well. Just because you didn't have a giant box of chocolates in front of you. 
God, she is so cute. You are the luckiest man in the world. All the letters, and he has them too. <laughs> yeah, that's a good substitute for talking. If you're cute enough, at least. As Goda just happily eats his burger at Wicked Donald's. What a, what a concept. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. So use Nike Keiko. Wow, she's going for the real high politeness level. Yeah, Jesus, you touched too much. Not, not at all. Why would you think that? Just because he burst in talking about the message that you were about to get. How much time do we have left? Yeah, not much at all. It's, it's almost over. Yeah. He's not that much of a pushover. Yeah, and then the ED. But seriously, that message though, the for the formalness, the politeness, it's like she was talking to her boss or something. Definitely not sound like a message to a schoolmate. <sighs> ah, stretchy, 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 stretchy. Okay. A letter to me. Okay, there she is. Um, Amami Yukika. Kayano, ah, yeah, that definitely... I'm definitely familiar with that voice actress. She's, uh, yeah, I've been in a lot of things, like La Latina from Konosuba. Also... Uh, let see, what else? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Quite a few things. But uh, anyway, I guess that, that is, I was just, I'm just curious. But but yeah, that was the 21st episode of Ode Monogatari, My Love Story. And uh, yeah, you know, the show is mostly about Goda's love story in particular, but this episode, the focus was a bit more on Suna's love story, right? Because, I mean, obviously most of the show, he hasn't really had much of a love story. He's had a bunch of girls confess to him and whatnot. But, uh, you know, because it's a Bishonen kind of, you know, kind of character. But, uh, never, he never, he never accepted any of them, was never a big fan of any of them. You know, they weren't really the kind of, the kind of girls for him, basically, if you want to, you know, simplify it. But, uh, yeah, this girl is a little bit different, you know? She's got, it's not just some quick little crush kind of thing. It's a ten year long infatuation that she has, that she has had with him. Continuing to send in letters every Valentine's Day, never, never with her name on it. Because that would be a little bit too much. But uh, he definitely, definitely, you know, seemingly made an impression on him. I think he even showed like a stash of those 
letters and whatnot. And when she actually did go up to him to talk to him, he, he knew her name, you know. He figured out pretty quickly that she was the one that, yeah, gave the anonymous letters and all that. But, uh, yeah, Goda was definitely the right person to help, you know, to help her get in with, with, uh, with Suna. And he, he pretty much did. She obviously kind of confessed a little bit. No, prematurely is not really what I'm looking for. She, like, she wasn't really... She wasn't going to initially, you know, jump into it like that, but she did because of, uh, just, you know, remembering her and whatnot, but, yeah, in the end, we did kind of step back a little bit and do a bit of a, you know, let's just be friends, get to know each other, and then go from there kind of, kind of thing, which is certainly a valid, valid way to do things, but, uh, yeah, for the most part, Zuna, Suna does not seem, you know, against being together with her, right, so, um, you know, if she hadn't tried to frame it that way, I am kind of curious what answer he would give if he actually was, you know, put into a position where he needed to give a yes, you know, let's go out, or no, I don't want to go out with you sort of answer. I guess we'll never know, really, but, yeah, he doesn't really seem against it or anything at all. Like, as far as girls that have a chance to be with him, she seems to, you know, have the highest, the high, have the best chances, you know. And the fact that she is not a bitch is, of course, you know, a good a good point in her favor, right? Which is, you know, wasn't the case with a lot of the girls I confessed to Suna. But, uh, yeah, I, I do quite like Yukiko. <laughs> she, she's, she's a fun one, you know. And, uh, yeah, hopefully next episode we can get, uh, she can, soon I can get to know her a little bit better. We can get to know her a little bit better. And we could, uh, yeah, she could eventually get that official girlfriend status with, with, uh, with Suna. And we could officially go on double dates together. It'll, it'll be great. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty much the episode. <laughs> Introducing this new girl, getting her involved into the story. And yeah, for the most part, she seems per perfectly likable. And we even got a little bit more of stuff with uh, with uh, Yamato, right? With some of the nervous that she felt back in the day when she was first, you know, contacting Goda and all that. But uh, yeah, it was definitely a, a good episode. I enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing how things go in the next episode at uh, the zoo. The zoo, I think they said they were going to go to. So yeah, so that should be fun. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.